All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be continuing our surveying review for the civil FE exam. And we're gonna be looking specifically at coordinate systems. So anything dealing with uh, maybe longitude, latitude, azimuth, bearings, all that stuff is going to be in this section. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first practice problem says the bearing is south 60 degrees east. Okay. What is the azimuth in degrees? Okay. So key things to note. Uh, or let's, let's first start out by writing out our given information. So we are given the bearing right and we are trying to find the azimuth okay so for azimuths and bearings most um most people forget these i have forgotten these multiple times um, but the crazy thing is is they do not have anything in the handbook azimuth. Yeah, when you search azimuth and kind of bearings and stuff like that, they don't that stuff doesn't come up, so you have to have to remember what they are so that you can get the questions correct. All right, so I'm going to go through what they are, how to somewhat remember them. Um all right, so let's start. So first I'm going to draw kind of like a Y axis and and X axis. And you know, you have your coordinate one, right? This is, uh, you have your quadrant one, two, three, and four, and you have uh, this would be considered north, this would be considered south, this is west, and this is east. Okay, all right. So, for bearings, they always are in reference from the north or south. So, anytime you get a bearing and it says uh, in this particular case, south 60, then that we are referencing 60 degrees from the Y coordinate um, south. So it says the bearing is south 60 east. So I know for a fact that it can only be in this quadrant, right? So does that make sense? That's the southeast quadrant. But it has to be draw my line in here. This line is going to be 60 degrees from the south. So this is 60 degrees. Okay. So what is that as far as azimuths? So I know that this is how I draw it as far as bearing, right? What is that as far as azimuths? Okay, so for azimuths, You have as azimuth it it goes from zero zero to three hundred and sixty degrees. And it starts here at the north axis. So at this point here, the top the azimuth is equal to zero. 
uh, east the azimuth is equal to 90 all right we went 90 degrees all right we're going to continue so it, it basically glows uh clockwise so you got 90 degrees then for south we got our azimuth it's going to equal one 180 all right then it was our azimuth is going to equal 270 and at north it's going to be 360 or zero okay so hopefully that makes sense so if i know that i am 60 degrees from 180 degrees right then I would just do my azimuth would equal let me make it closer to the, the actual line my azimuth is equal to 180 degrees minus the 60 which in turn is my azimuth is going to be at 120 so it's 120 degrees from this right point all right so my answer is b so just some memory that you gotta you gotta know that you know azimuth always starts at the north i mean it circles its its way all the way around um clockwise so all right let's look at number two hey everybody i know i didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now I know this test is tough and as you're going through material, you may be saying, uh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks and we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed. Right. And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories. Um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to 
take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one on one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.